Also breaking tonight, Iowa House lawmakers approved a bill that would change how the state's area education agencies help schools across the state. Chief political reporter Amanda Rooker has been following this since Governor Kim Reynolds first called for reform last month. And Amanda, this House bill is significantly different from what the governor wanted. It is, Lara, and this is a bill that has generated so much conversation. Some lawmakers today seeing, saying they have not seen this much feedback in decades. House Republicans said today they unanimously opposed Reynolds' original bill. Her bill would have given school districts full control of special education funding, which currently goes to area education agencies, or AEAs. This House bill today does not make any changes to special education services. What it does do, it allows school districts to contract with an alternative provider for general education and media services. Those services currently provided by AEAs include mental health support, curriculum assistance, and technology delivery. This bill simply empowers your schools to make sure that they are able to get the services they need in their particular schools, giving them the money, letting them have the money, and disperse it as they need throughout their school district will improve I believe will improve outcomes for students. Republican Representative Skylar Wheeler, who led the bill, said that lawmakers made changes based off weeks of meetings with AEA staff, schools, parents, and other education experts. Instead of taking effect next school year, their bill phases in over three years, starting in the fall of 2025. It also creates a task force to review AEAs. But Democrats today expressed major concerns, saying that this bill still has problems, that it's a solution in search of a problem. They have worries about oversight in accountability and overall the impact to services to kids in the future. There is no reason for the rest of the bill. The task force will do it for us. Then next year we can make an intelligent decision instead of a rushed one. There is no reason for this bill. Absolutely none. It's a fabricated problem. And Governor Reynolds released a statement to the House passing this bill. Expressing her thanks to the House for making progress, she said she believes the AEA system is, quote, failing our students and that the system must provide transparency and accountability and, quote, improve services for students with disabilities. Now, the Senate has a very different version of this bill. Ultimately, lawmakers will have to find some agreement in order to get any reform signed into law this year.